Jeep. The Jeep is off, getting the security system put on it. We gotta then put all this junk back in the Jeep. Organized so we're not killing ourselves during the trip. Is that a squirrel? Don't do it. Don't do it. A squirrel? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where? Where's the squirrels? We are off from... Oh, whoa, I wasn't even aiming at me. <laughs> Dude, I was like, who are you? Off from home. Woo! Off to go. We are leaving Hudson, Ohio right now. On route to... En route, not on route. E-N, en route. Technically. We're en route, not on route. Like, on star, en route. <laughs> Where are we going here, bud? <laughs> We're heading out to Columbus right now. I gotta pick up something from my college house and it just so happens to be perfectly on the way. <laughs> You're going right. Perfectly on the way to Southern Ohio, Rocky Fork State Park, which is the next location for the Angler Tour. We're gonna be fishing with Tyler Waller on another line podcast. Should be a good time. He's got a sweet boat. Um, recently there was a 10 pounder caught out of this lake. So we're pretty amped to get out there do some filming, do some fishing, and kick off the bass portion of the angler tour. This is what we're this is what we're all about is bass fishing. So this should be comfortable. If we don't catch any fish, we'll probably just call it quits. Yep. So we'll update you guys once we get there, set up the tent. What you laughing at, boy? <laughs> we ain't we ain't gonna call it quits. We gotta keep grinding. Every single day, grind. Hashtag grind squad, you heard it here first. Alright folks, catch back up with you. like the iconic bird of Australia. Super sweet. lose hundreds of dollars of gear by the end of this trip I'll be surprised. <laughs> trying to keep track of it all. Wrong, but you can't catch a keeper for nothing. Hmm. Uh, go try to hit some mainland points. I got a uh, rock bank that I got down here that I want to try first if there's nobody on here. Hopefully there's not. I think I heard everybody running down the lake which is mm -hmm. okay with me because we're gonna fish this in. Like I said guys we'll fish here until about noon or a little after if we can't catch any fish. There's another lake about five miles down the road called Paint Creek. Um, kind of sister lakes from this one. Uh, built basically the same time in the same manner, but they fish totally different, which is pretty cool. So you catch them on. We're going to be throwing shaky heads today. Hopefully we don't have to drag out the jerk baits, but I got a four and a half pounder last week on a jerk bait. So. I love jerk baits. Yeah. So personally, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind it. But. It's, uh, let's see, water temperature is 69.2, so it's actually, it's almost 10 degrees warmer than it was last weekend. JB's fish sauce garlic. This stuff will make you want garlic bread even if you don't like it. It's uh, the cool thing about this is uh, it has it's in several popular scents, but the cool thing about this is it has real crude fish oils in it, so you're creating a chum slick the whole time you're fishing. Do you target any species other than bass often, or is it all bass fishing? I like I I take my dad out in the fall uh, to lake around my house to catch crappie. Um, I enjoy I like eating fish. I go I, walleye fishing in Lake Erie a couple times a year. Um, but mainly around my house, just large mouth, small mouth, spotted bag. Come on. Woo. There we go. Got to start. Just, uh, the, it's a start, right? The skunk is off the boat. The skunk is off. Yeah. Woo. 
There it is. First bass of the angler tour. Tyler took us out here. Got a fish. Yeah. It's definitely a start. We're gonna mark it up in the app here. One press, and the app it goes. Don't even have to do anything, hands free. Yep, I just uh, marked his fish on my tracker. His fish. Oh, all right, all right. Doubled up. Cookie cutter. You wanna grab a... Yeah. Let's grab, double a, let's picture. grab a double picture. I don't think I've ever seen a double picture on the, on the angler, angler tracker. They're not studs, but they're fish. Yeah. Come back in. See, bud. Oh! oh. oh. The double the... shot. <laughs> wow, that went from zero to went real quick. <laughs> Another decent fish. <laughs> uh, I've fished since I was really, really little. Um, back in the time where my, my parents were taking me to strip mine ponds around my house, and, and you know, I fished. It's been a passion of my life from from day one. I, you know, I, I grown up with a with a fishing pole in my hand, so it just kind of grew naturally into the bass fishing thing because I used to catch a brown and bluegill, and you know, we would catch a lot of them, but. As soon as you you know catch your first larger mouth or smallmouth bass, you're hooked, in my opinion, and that's that's no different for me. Um, it was at a large. I still remember the very first bass I caught that I can remember, um, and it was a, not a giant, 12, 13 inch fish, but just how beautiful they are and you know how elusive they are to catch sometimes really makes me you know want to chase them more. Guys, it's been a very tough day here. We uh, started out at Rocky Fork, caught few fish, I think three, ended up with a double, which is something pretty cool. Uh, marked it all on, you know, tracked it all on the Angler, on the angler app. Uh, got the bullseye running, uh, the Angler tracker on my rod. It was really tough. All the fish have been short striking. Uh, we, we would catch them, get them hooked up. They would come, you know, go airborne, spit us. We probably should have had 10 over there. But the, um, you know, breaking it down, 73 to 75 degree water temperatures, um, it's been anywhere, it's 80, Two degrees right now. It's been 85, 86, 87 uh, air temp, so it's, it's you know decent. Uh, we were talking about there a little while ago. In this area, it doesn't go from winter to spring to summer. It goes to winter from winter to summer, so it throws the fish for a loop. But I think all in all, we got one more little spot here we're going to try, and hopefully we can put at least a, a decent one in the boat. But if not, it's been a pretty good day so far, I believe. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Yeah!